All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he comes he, through with a big he, knee. He hurt him. Oh, straight right. Oh, big elbow. Massive right hand. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. See him put himself into the half guard, like the control, yep. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Closed guard, strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. That one stuck in. Nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent there. Nice job by the opponent defending the take now, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. All right, so we now look back. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Oh, nice punch there by Diaz. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Just missed with the left there. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm him. Oh, he strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Close the right hand there. 
Yeah, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Good work from the top here by Diaz. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. There's another power takedown there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper plate. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. He's going to start looking to try to... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really... Ready to fight. Ready. Third and final round here. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Boom, straight left hand. Oh, and he tags him with the straight nice job there by Diaz. Oh, and he oh huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Straight right. Nice lead left hand by the southpaw there. Great strike by the southpaw fighter. He's moving to his left, and he throws that straight left hand. Great setup. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. To him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking Great to recover. Great tag that team now. Take it for a rise. Nice double leg, nice finish. Diaz has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. He's attacking guillotine. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Close guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout.
Holmes and Boyd. 